Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a haul video. I have a mix of high-end things, a few drugstore, and then some clothes, like two items and a pair of shoes. Okay, so I got another La Prairie foundation because the cream patch was too light. So I just exchanged this one for patch. This is a dead mat. If you are a NC in the MAC range, then you would be patch. If you're an NW, which is like more pinky than you are the cream patch. And I read that wrong when I first got it. And when I did my demo of it, I was like, oh, this is so light. It's almost too pink. So that's why I exchanged it. And I feel like this is the exact match. It uh, does have a yellow undertone to it. It's pretty much perfect. This foundation is a must and it will be in my luxury video coming up. Ain't no hollow back girl. I also got another foundation. I've been dying to try this brand. It's really expensive, so I've always put it off. And then, you know, Beautylish came out with their like easy pay or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try a couple things from this line. It is the Sicily. Sicily Paris, I believe. Yes. I got this foundation that I'm wearing today, and I'm freaking I'm wearing it today, and it's pretty much Call Drogo in an entire bottle. Like biggest pimp of all foundations next to this one. Sicily photo tint expert long wearing foundation and oh my gosh oh my gosh it has medium to full coverage but the consistency is very liquidy so at first i was like Ooh, i don't know if i'm gonna like it and i freaking is what it looks like i'm in the shade ivory which is number one i think it comes in a lighter shade which is more pinky tone and then the ivory is more yellow it's what i'm wearing today and i have to tell you it is perfect for summer. It doesn't feel like you're wearing foundation. Let me see if I can show you how liquidy it is. Well, it's not, you're not going to be able to tell how liquidy, but that's the coverage. I mean, it just almost evaporates on the skin. It gives a very airbrushed appearance. So like you probably don't even need a primer. I feel like I my kids are about to like kill each other. I love it. It is oil free, so it's not going to clog your pores. And it's that, it also says that one word underneath it that I don't know how to pronounce, non-comagen. I don't know how to pronounce it. A long wear finish, which I love. It has a light, like, I don't wanna say floral fragrance, but you can't smell it when it's on. It's so amazing. It's really hard for me to decide which one I like better. If you call Beautylish and get uh, like their feedback, they are so helpful at picking out a shade. Like she was swatching them on her hand. Like I would tell her what I had. And then she, if she had that foundation, if Beautylish sells it like this Charlotte Tilbury foundation, she would like swatch it and tell me which one was closest. And it's just so easy. They're, they're so, so easy. I got a blush. Like I can't even believe that I spent this much on a blush, but I did. Pinky Coral and it's the Photo Blush Eclat. This is what the packaging looks like not crazy about the zebra stripes and then the blush is this absolutely beautiful rosy coral color so it has a darker shade here and then a lighter shade satiny it's more of like a satin finish so it's not too shimmery it's not flat matte it's beautiful and i'm it's stunning it comes with uh, a really nice size mirror which is nice the thing i got was something from laura mercier and i've been here i've been hearing a ton of good reviews about this and i think they are price matching right now at nordstrom so it's like 20 percent off and it's the secret brightening powder so this is an under eye setting powder that just kind of brightens everything again the reviews are insanely good and they basically said that you can't overdo it like it's so her powders are so finely milled that it never looks cakey it never looks it never settles into like fine lines and wrinkles. I think it's so pretty. It really does brighten the area without looking white, without looking ashy, and without looking like a geisha. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I wanted to try it. I got it off the website in the shade Light, which I feel like is so super light. But I love this foundation because it's a really moisturizing, long-wearing foundation. So I figured I would like this full coverage type concealer or type finish it sets uh i think it sets pretty nicely so that's what it looks like that smells like coconut like their foundation oh, that's nice okay so then i saw my girl trisha oh my gosh i'm gonna burp i get like the worst like not gas but 
like air bubbles when I talk. I think she had this in a haul. My friend Trisha from A Glittery Life. I'll put her A Glittery Life. I'll put her link below. Uh, this is um, from Makeup Atelier. He, I said that right because I asked her first. Rouge Long Lasting Lipstick. From This is called Beige Rose. Really pretty, uh, long wearing type peachy color. Oh, this is really nice. It's kind of like a warm pink shade. This is a long wearing lipstick. Again, it's not super drying. So like your mouth doesn't look like a cat's butthole. I had someone tell me that in the comments and it probably made my entire week that they said that. It looks like a cat's butthole. That's totally what your mouth looks like with liquid lipstick sometimes. It's crazy. The foundation, I wanted to try this. I've been hearing very good things about it, although I have not tried it yet. The Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. I couldn't find my right shade and I always try to like hold it up against my skin to see if I can try to get the right shade and I think 204 would have been but they were out of it so I got 203 and 205. 203 is a little bit light and 205 might be dark so it probably will be the perfect match if I were to mix them. I went back to the motherland of Kerastase and I got two more products. I had to replenish this product which is freaking amazing for frizzy cotton heady ninny muggins type hair and it is the fluidissime fluidissime i have no idea great for uh blow drying your hair great heat protectant and i love it and then this is a brand new product which is the blow dry i don't even know how to pronounce it lacroyable i have no idea but th what's interesting about this they say you can flat iron your hair one day and then the next day you can curl it and that's supposed it's supposed to be really manageable if you use this i don't know why you can't just do that anyways oh my gosh it smells like the salon okay so let's get into the clothes because i have just three items so i got something from free people and i love these galoon bralettes i think that they are just so pretty and i love this color it's kind of like this raspberry mocha that's actually what it's called is raspberry mocha i think it would look really pretty with camo and just kind of underneath camo, camo tank tops or really anything. Here she is from DSW. I think these are around $30. I had uh, like a $20 off coupon, so they were 50. Got 20 bucks off, they were around 30 bucks. And this is the brand Adriana, I have no idea that's the brand. This is what they look like. They're just kind of like a pewter, they're a pewter color. And I have to say that when heels have this platform right here, it's so much better and way more comfortable. So these are really comfy. That's really cute. So I got those. I love the smell of new shoes. <sighs> Nordstrom, duh. I always go there. And this girl was uh, showing like me like the new stuff that they had in stock. I'll put the link below because they didn't have many in stock. And this is a Pam and Gala sweatshirt. They're so well. I tried this on and I could not believe how flattering it was, especially in the winter with jeans. So I'm obsessed with this olive color. And she was saying how it runs a smidge small. So I got a medium, but I kind of like the look of more of a baggy sweatshirt versus like a tight one. You know what I'm seeing? So um, but look at the sleeves. Look how freaking cute that is. Comes past your hip. I just think it's gonna be so cute in this in like the fall and winter. And it ha it's like that velour type material as well. So I love the girls at Nordstrom. They always never lead me astray, and that is super cute. I'll put the link below in case you are wanting to buy it. You'll love it. Like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.